Well, good evening, folks. I apologize for the lateness of the post today. I've been on the road all day, and then I was at a viewing of a young 20-year-old man who was murdered, and tomorrow I will be doing the funeral, and then I'll be driving home. Uh, so needless to say, um, with the time difference and all, uh, I apologize for the time delay. Uh, the, the subject this evening is the promise of wisdom. Don't we all need a little more wisdom in our lives? Let's bow our heads before we begin. Father in heaven, Lord, be with us this evening. We thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy. We ask that you will bless in this short time that we spend together studying your word. Especially, Lord, I ask you will be with this family grieving the loss of their son, just 21 years old, brutally murdered. Uh, Lord, words can't describe the pain they're feeling, but you know because you gave your son and he was brutally murdered for us. Be with us tonight, Lord. Bless us and keep us. And make your face to shine upon us in this moment, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. James 1, 5, James chapter 1, verse 5 says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. James 1, 5. Prophets and Kings, page 31, commenting on this says, The God whom we serve is no respecter of persons. He who gave to Solomon the spirit of wise discernment is willing to impart the same blessing to his children today. When a burden bearer desires wisdom more than he desires wealth, power, or fame, he will not be disappointed. Such a one will learn from the great teacher not only what to do, but how to do it in a way that will meet with the divine approval. Isn't that a wonderful message? Jesus is wisdom. He knows all at all times, which is, and he also knows which is the wisest course of action for you and I at any given moment in our life. All we need to do is turn to him instead of ourselves or our friends for earthly wisdom. Go to heaven for heavenly wisdom. Life presents us with many challenges. Whether it's related to your work or your personal life, your ministry, we're always in need of divine wisdom. And we have a God who has told us he will always give us the help that we need when we come to him. He is more than willing to give wisdom. Do you desire, questions for us this evening, do you desire to exchange the foolishness of your own thoughts for the wisdom that only comes from God? Are you willing to accept God's advice, even when it goes against the wisdom of the world and your own ideas? Sometimes we think we have it all worked out. We have it all figured out. We know what's best for ourselves. Have we gone to God in prayer? If we have not, then we have nothing figured out. And our best laid plans are nothing compared to plans blessed by our Heavenly Father. Will you open your heart this evening? to Jesus' wise counsel? Will you let him lead your life? Will you let him lead to you into a surrendered life filled with righteousness and filled with love? We have some prayer requests this evening. Pray for divine wisdom to be made known to you as you spend time with God. Pray for the Adventist churches and schools and institutions as they prayerfully and carefully consider what they need to do to reopen. Pray for the Adventist singles to experience fulfillment in Jesus and find a godly spouse. And that's even more difficult right now with the current COVID situation. Lastly, pray for the Tokyo Adventist Hospital, which has been serving the city more than 90 years. Please ask God to bless and grow the work of that people of Tokyo that they may find both physical and spiritual healing. Well, folks, I know it was rather short this evening. I've had an extremely long day. I've just gotten to the room that I'm going to be staying in. As you can see, it's not my usual background. Uh, I want to ask you, please, to pray for me. Uh, this is a heavy burden that I bear as well. I spent a lot of time with this young man uh, when I was pastor here in Oliver and Osoyas, uh, which is why I decided to come back for this when I normally would not. Um, if you have children and you can imagine the pain of the parents, of the mother, um, and I wanted to be here. So pray for me, but pray for the family. Pray for the, the brothers and sisters. There's lots of what if we'd done this and what if we'd done that. We just need Jesus to come into their hearts and to ease their suffering as much as is possible for the days that lie ahead. Let's bow our heads. 
Father in heaven, Lord, bless us and keep us. Make your face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. Lord, I thank you so much for giving me safe traveling mercies all the way from Lacombe to where I am just now. I thank you that I got here in time to meet with the family at the funeral home and that everything has worked out so far. Lord, I pray that as the family is preparing for what lies ahead tomorrow, <clears throat> that you... Uh, will show your glory and your face will shine upon each one of them. And even in this troubling time, may they see your grace and your mercy. Bless each one of us who is tuning in this evening. Lord, may we be filled with love and joy and peace as we leave this short time together of devotional thought and prayer. Fill us, Lord, and baptize us afresh with your spirit, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessings, folks, and have a wonderful rest of your evening.